We're moving, moving to. to share with you the seven things that we learned while at our first duty station. So right now we live in Havelock, North Carolina. I'm stationed on at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point. We live off of base, kind of technically sort or not. So well, here they have, that. <laughs> yeah, so the where we live now, it's called Slocum Village. So technically it's off of the base, but it's considered on-base housing, so it's, it's kind of weird. They still take your BAH and everything, so, but it's like off-base. It's, it's right, weird. so it's still owned by the same community that does um, like all the like rentals on-base. Uh, so we still fall under that category, and again with the BAH, and we'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but as far as like we aren't on the actual installation, we're like a couple minutes away from the... Yeah. It's, not, it's not too bad of a drive. It's yeah. like a... I don't know. 20 minute drive, so man, the traffic. So with your BAH, which is your basic allowance of housing, um, it is based off of your rank and where you're located. So like the cost of living in the area. Yeah. <laughs> so they just take your rank and your zip code. Yep. Independence. So number one is housing. So one thing to keep in mind uh, whenever you're living on or off base, especially off base, um, you need to like think about your pet fees, deposits, your location as in, I mean your actual location, whether you know it's 15 to 20 minutes away, because then you gotta take it into account traffic, and then that can be a pain in the butt. Um, and I don't know, I'm sure it's some, some rental agencies might be uh, like specials, housing specials, but with like on base, I would definitely check and see what kind of like housing specials they have on. Because we lived out in town here in Havelock, and then we moved on to Slocum and we got two housing specials we got like $1,500 back so yeah when we originally moved here we thought that living out in town was going to be like the better bet for us that we were going to save money that way um, we rented a place that was like $400 less than what our BAH was we still had to pay for water electricity trash um, different things like that so in the long run it would it's actually cheaper for us to live on base even though that they take all of our bah we get a housing special and they um they give us a check every month for living here and so it ended up being cheaper living here than it does out in town because we don't pay for water and electricity um, unless we go over like our allotted amount say just consider your options on whether you are going to live on base um, or off base you might find great options either way. Number two, get involved. So there are lots of activities on base and off base um, that the military hosts essentially. Um, so that is a great way to kind of connect with other people and make friends. Uh, here where we're at, Kyle's in a very small unit. Um, so there's not a lot of wives. <laughs> to connect with. So going to different activities and participating in them gives you the opportunity to meet people that you might not um, just like on a day-to-day -day basis. You can usually find them uh, on their Facebook pages or on the Cherry Point or like the bases uh, website. Yeah, so you just like, no, I mean, there's all kinds of opportunities. Three is explore the area. So, I mean, obviously, North Carolina, you have like a lot of campsites. There's a lot of like wooded area. Um, so before we had this little nugget, uh, we would go camping a lot. Um, I would say she's the most out the way person, but it does give you a great opportunity to, you know, go outside, explore. There's all kinds of trails, hiking trails, biking trails, even on base they have them. Um, fishing, hunting, I mean, anything really 
forest related, you think they, they've got it. I mean, it's a lot of fun. You're only in your location for so long, so take advantage of the new place. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be outdoor things, so there might be museums or different activity centers around you. We don't have a lot of big cities um, yeah. that are like super close, so we haven't went, we haven't really ventured out yeah. beyond like doctor's appointments, but. And um, obviously they have a beach too, but yes, we're not really yeah. beach people, so. We like the beach. Also, they do have a really cool uh, Shackleford Beach. Yeah. So it's in, was it Moorhead City? No. You take a ferry boat. I think it's Moorhead City. Anyway, you just look up Shackleford. Or like that. Uh, but yeah, you get like on a little boat. You can bring whatever you want out there and they take you to like an island. It's like right in the middle of, I think it's the ocean, but it's like a. It's like a cove. Yeah. And they have like wild horses there that you can, you know, supposed to go up and pet, but they'll, they'll walk up to you. Yeah, there's like 120 wild horses on the island. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's yeah. pretty popular. So there's just different things. Um, definitely like research the area and find new things to do. Number four, shop around. Um, mainly I'm talking about like groceries. So uh, you usually hear that like the commissary is your cheapest option for food. Sometimes that's the case and sometimes it's not. You normally like around uh, your base, you do have like Walmart, um, sometimes the Sam's, Costco. Like our Sam's is pretty far away. We don't have a Costco around here. But you also have your local grocery stores. Uh, we have Lidl, Aldi, Food Lion, um, Harris Teeter, Whole Foods, things like yeah. that. So. They may have deals going on at the commissary um, and they end up being cheaper, but then other things like um, like the store brand or like the off brand at Walmart, like great value might actually be cheaper than something that you would find at the commissary. I know our commissary cheese and milk are a lot more expensive than if you would go out in town to buy them. I just urge you to just kind of look around um, you know, you might have to go to multiple stores for grocery shopping, but don't just always assume that the commissary is your cheapest option when it comes to groceries. Five is your commute. I kind of already hit on it, um, but that for me was a big factor on like choosing where you live. Like Cherry Point is such a small base that, I mean, it doesn't really matter where you live. The traffic's not too bad, um, but you can't get to where you need like on or off base. Um, I think they're change they're changing the way um, like the gates are. They're making a new main gate, um, and the traffic I'm sure will be better. But the main gate now for Cherry Point, you can only it's like a stoplight, and then the entrance into the base, and so you can only fit like six cars before the stoplight. So it's horrible. But they're making an overpass at one of the back gates, which they're gonna make the main gate. Um, but yeah, I mean you can pretty much live in. Swansboro, New Bern, anywhere, and the traffic's not going to be too terribly bad at all. It's, it's nice. Well, one of the things about living like on base or close to base is that when he, um, when he has the opportunity to come home between like PT and going to work or during lunch, he is actually able to come home and see us versus if you know, we lived in New Bern or Moorhead, he wouldn't be able to make the drive um, because the drive alone would be your lunch. <laughs> yeah. So. so number six, join the Facebook pages. Kyle's not gonna agree with me on this one because he feels like the wives pages are filled with drama, which they can be, um, but they also have a lot of information. Normally, if you ask a question on there, someone's quick to answer. Some of these are wives that have been here for you know, this is like their third time here, or um, some of them are new wives and ready to connect. You will be able to meet with like everyone that's on the base, essentially, if they're on the page. They're usually really good about posting the events that are going on. There is different. <laughs> the dogs are going crazy right now. <laughs> Theo has like his, this weird, like, 15 minute span every day where he takes off running from the front door to our couch and back and does it like 10 times and then gets himself tired. Does anyone else dog do that? I feel like it's just Jesus you. <laughs> um, there are different like Facebook pages 
specifically for your husband's unit. Um, and then there's pages for like moms in the area. Go on to Facebook and um, search like your base, you know, wives or something of that sort. Um, and you'll be able to find them on there. Also, uh, the base itself has a Facebook page and then usually the communities, the, like our Slocum has their own um, Facebook page and then other communities. Like, I don't like all her little individual Facebook pages about wife stuff that's just boring and rumors all day long. <laughs> but the, like the station, you know, your, your station uh, social media pages and like your specific housing area, those are like great resources because like by the time you know, the commanding officer of the base passes it down to like your CO and then your CO passes it down to um, your platoon or shop, whatever you guys call it. Um, it's, they've already posted it on the Facebook page and it's much easier to just keep up with that. Same with housing. Like when the hurricanes hit, they give like daily updates of like when powers is project or projected to be back on. Um, updates of, you know, if the line goes down, who to call, or like if like the phone line for maintenance goes down, who to contact. I mean, Different it's Different road convenient. closures on base or like with all the construction going on with um, the second entrance onto base, they're really good about posting when it's closed. Yeah, it's definitely convenient. Hmm. Normally I hear about it on the Facebook page long before Kyle will. Yeah. Number seven, our last point is be prepared for sounds. So pretty much anywhere you go in the military, you're gonna have like specific sounds depending on where you live and where you work, um, just from Marines training. Um, so for here, you'll hear a lot of planes. Um, obviously it's an air station and all, all throughout the night and the day, um, they're training. So you'll hear all kinds of sounds that literally will like shake your house. Sometimes, depending Especially on how low they are. Especially if you live close to base or on base, yeah. you hear it a lot worse. I mean, we don't really hear art artillery here because, you know, we're a wing unit. or uh, It's a wing uh, station. Um, but, yeah, if you were in, like, Camp Lejeune or something like that, you'd probably, I'm sure, hear a lot of artillery noises and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll never forget when... Uh, so, Kyle got here like, five months before I did, and my parents helped us move back or help me move here and we were driving past um, base leaving our house one day and we had the windows down because it was nice and a plane took off and my mom literally like ducked her head down really quick and she's like what was that <laughs> but it was just one of the planes you do get used to it um everyone like if you're outside and having a conversation and a plane goes by, everyone just like stops talking for a second, waits for it to pass, and then picks up like it's nothing. Yeah. Like you do get so used to it, but there's still times that like it's louder than normal. Yeah, yes. you want to tell him about it. And the type of aircrafts, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he's never had an issue with it. He's always slept right through it. The dogs will sometimes bark. Um, but for the most part, you just get kind of used to it. Yeah. That's not bad. That is all that we have for you guys. I hope that um, the things that we've learned here will help you when you are going to your first duty station. Yeah, or your next. And, yeah. And this is where your next is. Without further ado, we are moving to, to Hawaii. Hawaii. So as you can tell, we are going to Marine Corps Base Hawaii. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, I mean, I don't want to say it's going to be an experience for sure, and there's we, a lot of things to do. Yeah, we're going to be going in spring of next year, so I'm pretty excited. I'm a little nervous about the move, but we can do it. We're ready for it. So, if you guys are currently stationed there or have been stationed there before, and have any recommendations on um, things to do there or things to definitely see, uh, we'd love to hear them. Go ahead, you tell them what you think about it. They're listening.
Uh-huh. Okay, is that it? Is that all you had to say? Until, Until next, next time. time.